first, live, local. This is Fox 12 Now. And hello, everyone. Welcome back to Fox 12 Now. I'm Greg Nibbler. As you can see, depending on when you're watching this video, it's very much time stamped. I've got my Fox 12 Now Christmas hat on. Uh, we're going to be talking about tech for this segment, and, and specifically the Apple Vision Pro. Now, it's something that uh, was announced back earlier this year at one of Apple's conferences, but now we have tentatively at least an ish date of when it's going to be coming out. So that's kind of why it's a big deal right now. So let's, uh, let's go through this. Let's talk about this for a second. What is the Apple Vision Pro? That's what we're gonna discuss. Let me give you a basic definition. So there you go. That's what this thing looks like. This is a mixed reality headset. So that's what this is. So what's mixed reality? It's a combination of virtual reality and augmented reality. So that's hence mixed reality. So basically virtual reality, as we're used to, you've probably seen it in some gaming systems. You put a headset on, you're completely immersed in a world and that's it. That's all you see is whatever's on that screen. You can't see the outside world. You don't interact with it. With augmented reality, it's a little bit different. You put something on and it more is, is more or less overlays something over the real world. You can get an example of that probably with some apps on your phone. If you pull up an app and say it overlays, you know, a dinosaur in the room or whatever, that's augmented reality. So that's, that's the definition of that. This combines both of those. And this headset has been something that's, that's been really anticipated for a long time because it's Apple jumping into this game. There's lots of VR headsets and some AR headsets that are out there already, but this is from Apple. That's why it's a big deal when it does come out. And here's what we know. We're gonna give you some, some of the uh, specifics of what it can do. I'm gonna play up that actually here in just a minute, but talking about what we know as far as the new news, this comes from a report from Bloomberg that uh, emails have been going out to developers insinuating that this is gonna be coming out in February. So February, just a little over a month away, that this could finally be hitting the, the stores. And that's a big deal for Apple because this is a big gamble for them. It, this is probably the most complex piece of hardware they have put out uh, in a very, very long time, at least as for, when it comes to a wearable product like that. The Apple Watch is probably the, the most recent one that would be similar to this, but this is even going beyond that. The price tag is gonna reflect that as well. Uh, estimated to be about $3,500, $3,500 for this headset. So it's not going to be that everybody's running out and getting one, but some people are. And, uh, and so that's, that's part of the deal. The other news that we're, we've heard, at least from this Bloomberg report, is that um, they're going to be actually flying out Apple Store employees to Cupertino, to Apple's headquarters, to start preparing for the sale of these. Because this isn't going to be something that you just walk in and pick it up off of a, off of a table. There's a box, you just grab it and walk out. It's very customized. So if you look at how this is fitting around, around their head right there, that's specifically fit for each person. They're actually going to be having something where they will do face, face scans and even scanning potentially your head, a 3D scan of that to make sure that it fits specifically to you. So that's a, I mean, if you're paying that much, I suppose that's what you would want. But that's something that they're gonna be doing for the sale process of this. So that experience also is gonna be pretty unique when you do go in to do that. Um, they're also gonna be training them on different ways. The, the ethical way to actually try a headset on whether you're place, when you're placing it on somebody's head. So that's something that uh, I guess they're going to be trained on as well. So, you know, a lot's gonna, a lot's gonna be happening. This isn't gonna be, like I said, just, a, just something where you walk in and grab a box off the shelf. So that's some of the newer news that we know about this. And I'm gonna update that just a little bit more as well. Uh, and, uh, and we'll let you know some more on that. But I do have a segment that we did earlier this year when we found out about some of the features. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that and just to, to give you some ideas of what this can do. And then we'll talk about it a little bit more after this. That right there is what Apple has been keeping secret for a very long time. So what is this that we're looking at? I wanna give you a little bit of a definition on that. So this is the Apple Vision Pro. That is the name of it. Um, we're gonna watch this just a couple of times here as it loops around. So virtual reality, we're, a lot of people are familiar with virtual reality. It's the idea that you're completely immersed. If you think about your Oculus Pros, uh, your HTC Vives, those headsets you put on, you're playing your video games or whatever it is that you wanna do in those completely virtual worlds, that's virtual reality. Augmented reality is a little bit different. It's the idea of layering digital things over the world that you're looking at. Think about this. If you hold up your phone, you know, and you've got different uh, things you can layer on, say a picture, you know, whether it's whatever it may be, whatever you pull up, you want to layer it over an image that you're looking at right now, that is augmented reality. You're augmenting what you're actually seeing in front of you. 
That's the concept behind that. It's layering things over your actual world that you're looking at. Mixed reality, it's bringing those two things together. This is what the Apple Vision Pro does. So what you can do here is a little bit of augmented, a little bit of uh, virtual. You can actually toggle between the two, but largely they're looking at it for the augmented reality side of things. The idea that you can sit there, as you, as you see this guy here in his living room, this is coming strictly from Apple, and layer things over your real world. As he's looking at his living room, he can pull up certain things. You can incorporate your apps in there, as you can see it. Now, this is actually showing up in front of him as he's looking at it. You can scroll through your pictures. You can integrate pretty much everything that you do with a Mac or with your iPhone, according to Apple, right into this. So it's all being layered over. And on top of that, you control it with your hands. There is no, uh, we'll put that back up there so you're not watching me as I'm uh, talking with my hands, not as exciting as that. Uh, but th that's the, the concept, is that you're actually controlling this with your hands as you, uh, as you engage with it. So here's another better example of the gestures as, as we're mentioning it. There's no controller that comes with this. So it is completely what they're calling spatial computing. The idea, you put this on, you do have a battery pack that's got to be hidden somewhere, and they, it's hiding in this shot right here, but there's a battery pack that, that they would be wearing. But yes, see how actually you move your hands? That is how you would control everything within this. There's no apps, there's no controllers. If you've used other VR systems before, there generally is. Sometimes you get a little bit of that uh, spatial computing kind of control, but this is really doing it all by hand. So it's all those little gestures, all those little things that, that is going on there. That is how things are being controlled. So kind of uh, a, a big deal right there in not having to use your, uh, your any kind of controller for that. So going back to what other things that you can do, that's another one of the key components of this. As I mentioned, bringing in all of your other stuff into this. So let's, uh, let's look at some specific examples. Maybe we'll start off here with the entertainment example, you know, watching a movie. If you've used a heads up before, you've probably watched one. Well, with this, you can create a gigantic screen. I believe it was 100 inches off. Take a look at what the, uh, what the exact screen size is, the virtual screen that you would leave. Excuse me, not 100 inches, 100 feet. How about 100 feet? You could have 100 foot wide. Oh, my. Stop it. Put these on loops a little bit more. A 100 foot wide screen that you could pull up. And you would be able to watch a movie all through your headset there. You can see it kind of layered into your living room. Uh, that, yeah, as you see this thing get bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what you can do. Virtual, but all 4K resolution because of the cameras that are in this thing that are actually giving you that kind of high res image. Walking through what you can do with it. So entertainment, that is one of the, the big ones. So they're saying those they're gonna be new TV shows, movies, uh, probably I'm sure a lot connected into Apple TV Plus. They'll be bringing in their side of that as well. But that's, uh, that's, that's definitely a, a huge thing of, of what they're gonna be bringing into this. There's also going to be spatial audio. So spatial being one of the big terms they're using, spatial computing, spatial audio, spatial environment. Spatial audio is, those are the speakers attached? If you've used any kind of uh, spatial audio before, if, you've, if you're really into, if you're, maybe if you're really an audiophile or you've ever really integrated home theater system, you're probably familiar with some of this, but it makes the sound sound like it's coming from the left or the right or the front, the back. It adds to the experience that you're getting. Now, going back here to the integration, bringing all of that in together, and then this is what they are looking at it for you to do. So you're doing everything you do on your, on your Mac, and you can integrate that as well, or your iPhone but then you have it all in front of you and you can try out these different things and different experiences that come along with that. As you can see, it's shopping, you got your, your cloud uh, computing right up there, you have your messages going on, so a lot of things happening all at once and you can place those wherever you want and this can be wherever you want. So if you think about the world of remote computing, that's where you're gonna be. And look at that, even the keyboard, that's virtual. That's just sitting there and he's moving his fingers as he's typing on that. So that's, again, all just packed into this one headset and this is the idea behind that, that you're gonna be able to do all of those things. A Couple other things, if you, uh, I'll pull up some of the other footage that they have from, uh, from today with the Apple Vision Pro and walking through. Uh, let's talk about FaceTime. So as you can see, they're in a meeting, boom, there's everybody pulled up right there in FaceTime in a virtual setting 
looking at that, you can see the tether there to the battery also in this shot. So that is one key feature. It's not all contained within that headset, but a lot of the computing is. Uh, most of the computing actually is, is contained within that headset. So that's a pretty big deal right there. Something else important. And, you know, we're, we're walking through the features here. I'm going through them fast, but I want to give you the, really the rundown of what some of this can do. And then we're going to talk about who is this for and how much does it cost. That's certainly a big deal. Uh, one other thing that's going to be pretty big with this is security. Security is a concern that every tech company has. Everyone talks about it. Uh, everyone's concerned about it, whether you're a consumer or whether you're a company. You know, we're, we're all concerned with security. The way they are going to be handling this is they're having uh, Optic ID, which uses your iris. So it's called Vision Pro. And it says Vision Pro adheres to Apple's security goals. Uh, the headset uh, has um, Optic ID authentication. So that means it's going to use your iris to authenticate that it is you. There's various ways that we use biometric data right now when it comes to uh, your devices, whether that's your thumb, your face scan, you know, that's, that stuff are things that, those are things we're probably pretty familiar with. This is using your retina. And we've seen retina scanning be incorporated in a few different ways. Some, some airports actually have that incorporated in to some extent. There's talk about Amazon having that for in-person shopping experiences where you'd use your retina. It's, it's slowly getting its way out there. This is one of the ways that it'll be used, and which does make kind of sense. You have that many cameras aiming at you. Everybody's retina is unique. So that is one of the ways they're going to be putting that in. Finally, let's get to this. Who is it for? Who's going to be using this? Well, according to Apple, um, you know, everybody can use it for all of those different things, whether that's gaming, augmented reality, work, you name it, all the different things we just said, and plus a lot more that they talk about as well. But here's the big kicker, the price. <laughs> $3,499. That is not cheap. That's even, that's expensive even for high-end VR headsets. Uh, so it is a, it's a high, high amount right there. Um, $3,500, that is, that is correct. That is how much this thing is going to be. And, uh, you know, at that price, you're talking, of, I think, about a pretty specific market that's going to be using it. Uh, these are going to be the first adopters. You know that person who got the super high-end iPhone right when it came out, and maybe that was you. Uh, though really, you know, when they were really expensive and even rare, that's probably the kind of market that we're looking at for this. And Apple does this quite frequently when they bring in new technology. They wait a while. They're by no means the first person out with an augmented reality or virtual reality headset. There's been plenty of those out there for, for years, lots of experiments uh, with that. If you, didn't, if you remember going back to Google Glass, if you remember the Google Glasses and the nickname for those kind of people, uh, <laughs> for the people that use those, there was a specific nickname, you can Google it. Uh, but this is incorporating a lot of different types of technology all into one. Um, you know, Apple claims that it's the, the best made headset of all time. They've got all these different ways that they talk about this. And, uh, and that's what, what we're looking at right now. So this is bringing all those technologies into one. The person who's going to be using it was probably the high-end adopter at first. But the way this could go in speculation, since they have so many different features packed in, I would say if a few iterations down the line, if the price starts to drop, you could see more and more people get into it. But uh, there is a lot that you can do on this, and it just depends if that's something that's, that you're into. If you want all of those things incorporated in one, maybe you're somebody who uh, commutes for work or, or you, you know, don't have an actual office you go into, you want to bring your office with you everywhere where you go. This might be something to look at. They're not the first with it. You've seen the HoloLens kind of go down this route too, and the HoloLens is about that expensive. Uh, HoloLens tailored more towards, it, that's from Microsoft, tailored more towards a commercial audience, industrial audience, or even medical use cases, not consumer use cases. They're bringing all that in, but price tag, <laughs> sorry, that was the end of the video right there. Uh, price tag, $3,499. You got me looking at my old monitor. Uh, so again, that's the Apple Vision Pro, but the big news there is that uh, coming out of uh, a reporter from Bloomberg saying that this could be coming out here within a month. So when this does come out, it's going to be a very, very big deal. Probably not a lot of people are going to have this, but somebody will be picking this up, that's for sure, even with that really expensive price tag. And so we'll have to see how this works out. Can, will it be a success for Apple? Will this be something that completely reinvigorates the, the VR and AR market? Or could Apple have a very rare bust? I mean, it's possible. It doesn't happen often for them, but uh, it is possible. So we'll have to follow along with that. And again, this is Fox 12 Now, so we cover a wide range of topics here on this show. I'm Greg Nibbler. If this is your first time tuning in. And, uh, you know, this is just a tech segment talking about something that I feel like people should know more about, especially since it's coming up here 
pretty soon. It's going to be coming out. So if there's ever something that you would like to see as a segment for this, whether that's for Facebook, YouTube, our website, or our apps, feel free to send me an email, fox12now at kptv.com. We're going to end this, uh, this segment here. If you're watching on uh, YouTube and Facebook, you'll see that end. Uh, head on over to the website and the apps, though. I do have a few more things left for today, specifically some news stories that may not make it into our other newscasts, but I feel like uh, would be of interest for you to see, and I am going to say there's a fish thief involved, so we'll leave that there. So uh, time to go download that app, uh, the Fox 12 Oregon app, on whatever your platform is, and join us over there. But for now, I'm Greg Nibbler. This is Fox 12 Now.